Hello guys, this is another prestigious fully funded scholarship opportunity. Today we are looking at a road scholarship for postgraduate studies at a prestigious Oxford University in the United Kingdom. So if you are looking to study in the United Kingdom with one of the oldest prestigious scholarship then you are watching the right video. The road scholarship is fully funded and will cover all your expenses including your full tuition fee, living expenses, health insurance, visa application cost and even your flight ticket. All international students are eligible and there is no application fee. In this video, I will take you through all you need to know like how to check your eligibility, the documents you need and how to apply. So make sure you watch this video right to the end and also at the end of this video, I'm going to give you some focus tips that will help you win this scholarship. This will definitely be worth your time. So hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe. Let's get it started. Right here, we are on the official website to learn more about the Rhodes Scholarship. The Rhodes Scholarship is a life-changing opportunity to join astounding young people from around the world to study at the University of Oxford. So first things first, what does the Rhodes Scholarship cover? If you get the scholarship, you'll be able to study at the Oxford University for free. It's basically go going to cover your um, course fees. You also get a stipend of £18,180 per annum which is £1,500 uh, per month and with this you'll be able to take care of your living expenses including your accommodation cost. The scholarship will also cover your student visa cost as well as your health insurance. This scholarship also covers your flight ticket so you'll get two economic class flight tickets and also it covers your application fee to apply for admission into University of Oxford. Right now, let's talk about the English language requirement at the University of Oxford. It will interest you to know that you might not need English language proficiency tests like IS or TOEFL if you come from English speaking country or if your first degree was conducted in English. On this page, there is um, a self-evaluation tool that will help you check if you do not need IETS or TOEFL. So if you come down on this page, you just need to answer the questions that are there and then you get to know if you need to write any English test or not. The first question right here is English your first language and are you a citizen of or have been primarily resident in majority English speaking country? So if your answer is yes to this question, definitely you don't need the test. But if, for example, your answer is no, then you get another question. Are you a current University of Oxford student? For example, the answer is no. You get another question. The next question is, have you achieved the required level in an approved English test within two years of the start date of your course? So the approved English test include IS, TOEFL and other tests that are approved. You can check it out with this link. But if, for example, you have not written any of these tests, you can also say no and then you get another question. And this is the question I am interested in. Have you studied or you are studying a degree of at least nine months taught in English, completed no more than two years academic years before the course to which you are applying? So for this question, for example, your bachelor's was taught in English and it was completed at least two years ago, then you can click on yes. And at this point, you can see that it says you can apply for an English language test waiver as part of your application form. And also, if your request is based on previous studies, you can upload evidence of this with your application form. So that is it guys, you might not have to write IS or TOEFL. I will leave a link to this page in the description box so that you can also check it out. Right now, let's take a look at the eligibility criteria and how you can check this out. So this is the main page we are working on and um, I'm going to leave the link to this page also in the video description box and also in the comment section. So what you want to do is to come down on this page. You can see the menu at the left hand side and you can see this right here. Check your eligibility and apply. So you want to click on that and then click on check your eligibility. It takes you to this new page. Um, check your eligibility and apply. And what you have to do is to come down right here and you want to start by imputing your country into this um, box so right here i'm just going to use nigeria as the example you, you have to put in your country right here because the requirement and eligibility 
can vary slightly based on your country so i'm going to click on nigeria and then click on check your eligibility so you can see right here you can use the eligibility checker below to find out if you're eligible for the roads scholarship for this constituency so there are six steps we are going to take a look at to see if you're eligible the first step is the constituency which is west africa this doesn't mean that it's only africa that is eligible depending on your country then you are going to have another constituency so the next step is to see your nationality if you are part of these countries listed out here in this constituency so for west africa if you are a citizen of the countries listed out here then you are eligible to apply so what you have to do is to answer the question are you citizen of one of the following countries so i'm going to click on yes and then it takes us to the third step which is education it says have you been resident in one or more of the countries listed above for at least five years of the last 10 years so i'm just going to click on yes the fourth step is your age criteria you have to fall into any of the following age category to be eligible you must be aged 18 to 24 on the 1st of October 2023 or if you studied a medical course dental pharmaceutical law or engineering then you should be 18 to 25 by 1st of October 2023 and also if you completed your undergraduate course um, a little bit late then you must be under the age of 27 on October 1st 2023 if you meet any of the criteria above then you have to click on yes the fifth step is to see if your academic achievement meets the requirement so for this you must have completed an undergraduate degree that is your bachelor's degree and you should have a first class equivalent to be eligible and once you have this you can come over and click yes and then you can go to the sixth step which is your english proficiency so if you have made the english proficiency like i showed you earlier then you can click on yes and then you can hit continue and you can see on this page it says you meet the eligibility criteria for the road scholarship for west africa and down here you can see find out more and apply so what you have to do is to click on that link and it takes us to the application information page and right here you just want to read through what you have and you can also see the opening and closing date so for this region um, the opening date is 1st of June which means that the scholarship is already open as at this time and it closes September 28, 2023. So depending on the, your country, um, maybe this might differ a little bit. There are a lot of information on this page and make sure to read through and get all the necessary information. Once you are good to go, then you can click on the apply now button. So once you click on the apply now button, this takes you to the application portal and right here is the application portal um, what you have to do is to register for the um, for an account so you click on i don't have an account you register and thereafter you can log in to complete the application but right now let me talk about how to apply properly for this scholarship you have to apply for the scholarship first and after applying for the road scholarship um, if you are selected if you get the scholarship you will then be invited to apply for admission into the University of Oxford. So you don't have to bother about applying for admission into the University of Oxford. What you need to do is to apply for the scholarship. And once you get the scholarship, you can come around to apply for admission into the University of Oxford and your application fee will be paid by the scholarship. This is another PDF document. I'm going to put the link in the description box so that you can access it easily. So right here, we are going to look at some of the documents you need to apply for this scholarship. If you come down on this page, you can see some information about how to apply and also the documents that you will need. For example, um, some details, your personal contact details and information. You also need to uh, show evidence that you meet the eligibility requirements and also your education history, including your university transcripts and also the courses that you would like to study at the University of Oxford. So it can be more than one course. So you have to, after this, I'm going to show you how to search for a course in this university. And also you need your CV and also academic um, statement and also a personal statement and a total of four 
referees. So make sure this video is not too long. You can get more details about all these documents right in this PDF file. If you go through it, you can see key documents and what exactly is needed from you. So if you go through this document, um, it's um, some pages right here so you can get all the informations right here. As earlier promised, here are some focus tips that can help you win this scholarship. Apart from your academic excellence, there are other areas that you can show your strength that will help you stand out from the other applicants. So example of such areas is the energy to use your talent to the full potential. So in this case, you can demonstrate this by showing what you have achieved in terms of sports, in terms of music, debate, dance, theater, as well as artistic pursuit, including when you were in a team. If you can incorporate this into your personal statement, then to go a long way to help you win the scholarship. Also, in your application or your personal statement, you need to show that you have sympathy for and protection of the weak. So you can be the voice of the voiceless. The instinct to lead and put the interest of others over yours. I believe this will help you stand out and give you a good chance to win the scholarship. And lastly, to search for courses, if you come over to the English language requirements self evaluation to the link where, which I showed you earlier, and if you come to the menu of that page, you are going to find at the top courses. You can go over to courses and then you can go to A to Z of courses. So you can click on that. It takes you to the page where you can see the courses available in this university. You can check through the courses. So for this scholarship, um, you can apply for master's program as well as PhD um, um, like this, um, Doctor of Philosophy. So um, what you want to do is to search for the courses that you're interested in. And you can also use this feature right here to search for your course. So guys, that will be it for this video. Hopefully you are eligible and you are able to apply to this scholarship. Also make sure to subscribe and like this video. And there are a lot of videos, a lot of opportunities right on my YouTube channel that you can check out. Click on the video showing on the screen right now and I'll see you in that video.